How to run Facebook ads for Shopify setup and full guide. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can run Facebook ads for your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, everyone knows the power of the Meta Business Suite, and we can actually utilize this for our Shopify store and start running ads for our Shopify product on Facebook. This is something that is usually complicated and can seem like a really big task but can easily be done by beginners if broken down into different segments so the first segment of this is to actually build a bridge between shopify and facebook to do this what we're going to do is what we're going to log on to our facebook account on the same browser make sure it's the facebook account that you want to use to manage your shopify store that's just the first step. Then open up your Meta Business Suite. Now, if you don't have the Meta Business Suite already, you can easily create it with any Facebook account. You can see on the top right, you will see your account and you can easily click on the account over here. And once you open up your account, you will see a menu bar. And from there, you can access the Meta Business Suite. Now, once we have done that, we are gonna go back into our Shopify store. And before you start trying to run ads with your Shopify store, make sure your store has its password removed and has a viable checkout system. Then click on settings on the bottom left and then click on apps and sales channels again on the left. Then click on Shopify app store on the top right. Once you click on Shopify app store, you're going to go into this search bar and you're going to search for Facebook. Now, once you search for Facebook, you're gonna find a bunch of different applications, but the one that you want to install is called Facebook and Instagram. And this is this particular application and the developer should say Meta. So this is their official application. We're gonna click on install over here and the other applications are all just add-ons to this. There are just different ways that you can optimize the power of this, but we're just gonna install this application and click on install once more. Now, once we click on install once more, we are basically authorizing Facebook and Shopify to be connected. You will see a new sales channel will be added to your online store point of sale system. I also have Google added as a sales channel. And then below that I have Facebook and Instagram now. So I will pin this to my navigation. And once I have pinned this to my navigation, it's time to get started with setting up Facebook ads. So for this, the first thing we're gonna do is click on get started. Once you click on get started, you're going to connect your account. So we're gonna click on connect account and because I have already logged on to Facebook, logged onto Facebook using the same browser, I can just log in. Then you will see your business portfolio. So I have already opened up my business portfolio with Meta Business Suite. This is a step that you should do before you start connecting Shopify to Facebook. And it is going to display your business portfolio over here. If you want to build a new business portfolio for your Shopify store, you can always click on create new and build a new business portfolio for your Shopify store advertisements. But I'm gonna connect my pre-existing portfolio. Now, once you do that, you will see a management section where you can manage your data sharing preferences. This includes whether you want to share conservative data using the MetaPixel. Then you can choose the enhanced data where you have MetaPixel advanced matching and conversion API. Then you also have maximum data sharing. This is totally your own personal preference. And if you don't want to share any customer data, you can turn off data sharing. But I like to keep enhanced data sharing on as this helps you in finding more viewers or shoppers that would align with the values of your brand. Click on save. And once you have done that, you will see your MetaPixel. So I have already created a MetaPixel for my Meta Business Suite. However, if you don't have a pixel, you can always click on create new. The steps to build a new pixel is, are very simple and they are not really that complicated. You can just click on create new and follow the simple Facebook prompt and you will be completed. Just click on connect and then click on I agree. Click on submit for review and now your Facebook connection has been submitted for review. 
you, as you guys can see that this may take several minutes please do not refresh the page so usually it, it does not take that long uh it's gonna take like a couple of, it, it like takes two minutes for the verification to be completed and you will see on the left to make products available to facebook and instagram you need to set the product status as active and select the facebook sales channel so i'll show you guys how to set that up as well but we're just going to finalize our finalize our setup on Facebook with Shopify. Now this has been completed. So our connection with Facebook has been completed and now it's a really simple process from here. First, I like to go into product on the left and then I will take any product. I'll take this party dress over here. And on the right, you will see all the publishing, uh, all the sales channels that this is published on. So Facebook and Instagram have been added. Now I'll go back into Facebook and Instagram on the left. Once you do that, you can proceed with your first ad campaign by clicking on create ad. Once you click on create ad, this will open up your ad manager for your Facebook account. So you can create a new ad account or add an existing ad account. You can go to your business settings and then you can add and you can create an ad account. You can add an ad account ID like this. And we're going to click on add and we are going to create a new ad account. You're going to add your ad account name. So for us, it's going to be Lily Davis. And then we're going to click on next. This is for my business and I will click on create. And you really need to make sure you have an ad account before you can actually publish ads on Facebook, even if you do have the Meta Business Suite. Once you do that, you're going to add partial access. If you want, you can do that. I will add full control to select all and click on assign. And now after you have proceeded, it's time to add your payment info. So your payment info is going to be the way that you pay Facebook for the ad campaigns. You can click on next over here. And once you click on next, you will be led to a prompt where you can add your business and tax info as well as your card info. Now, once you have set all of this up, you have connected your ad account, you can click on create ad back on Shopify, and this will open up your ad manager. Now, from here, I can start running ad campaigns for my Shopify store. Now, obviously, until you do add your actual active payment method, your ad campaigns can't be run, but still, you can start building drafts right away. So by clicking on create on the top left, you can choose the type of ad campaign you're looking to create. So let's say I want to bring awareness, and there are different types of ad campaigns that you can build with Facebook. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.